G'day there viewers, it's time for Catch and Cook. Hello again, I'm Neil Morrison. And myself, Noel Barnaby. And we're out fishing again. Jim. Where are we? <laughs> we're in the Mitchell River this time. Mm. Um, I'll keep casting while we're talking. Oh, hello, he's into it already. <laughs> We've come to the Mitchell because rumour has it that the brim, which we're up spawning, we found it very hard to catch them, are starting to move down the river and are perhaps on the tune. Well, we hope so. Yeah. Rumours, people, rumours. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We'll go anywhere if someone gives us a good oh, rumour. God, yeah. There's been some good rumours. Yeah. So we're going to persevere today with everything we have got. I tell you, every plastic, every hard body, every vibe, just till we find out what the fish are actually eating. And that's sometimes yeah. pretty hard. Yeah, it can take half a day to find out what they want. It can. Um, I've got a, what we call a slim swim on at the moment. Um, what have I got on? And it's not working, whatever I'm working. Nothing yet, <laughs> because I haven't decided what I'm going to use. He's waiting for me to catch a fish. Yeah, boat. exactly so, right. Yeah, he's just, not silly. I'll just copy him. So we've got some beautiful weather. Forecast is for what, Noel? Uh, nice this morning, rain this afternoon. Yeah, it's going to tumble down and we really need some uh, some water up here. My place is getting pretty dry. Um, won't hurt to get a bit more. Oh, it won't hurt. The rivers need to come up a bit. The, br the brim breeding season usually runs from any time from about late winter through to the very early um, summertime, hmm. usually. And they need a fair bit of fresh water coming down the rivers to do a good spawning. I think the last really good spawning we had, was, according to the fisheries, is 2022. So yeah. we had a, quite a few years of not much happening before that time. This so time round? So we're hoping that changes. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we're going to try and catch a few fish. We are. So we're going to work the banks mostly. Right. Um, and for those people that are bait fishing, you cast out in the middle of the river. We don't, we cast up against the sides, so. We're doing the opposite. Yeah, we find most of the bigger fish are up against the edges feeding. Particularly and, brim. Uh, particularly particularly brim. brim, yeah. And uh, usually a few platters as well. You just never know what's around yeah, the Yeah, true, 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 true. But, uh, yeah. Uh, now, while we're, while we're here on the opening, Neil, I just want to point out something. Look, viewers, look at that. I've scored one. <laughs> Neil's scored one. We have a, we have a sponsor. Mad Outdoors uh, in sale, so thank you for coming on board, and um, we welcome our, uh, we welcome any sponsor oh, really. We do, we do. definitely we do. By so. all means, get in contact with C31, and yep, we'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> we can take we'll, anything. We'll, we'll, give it a we'll put your name on anything. Yeah, that yeah. what the hell. Yeah. But yeah, um, so Ricky, my son, actually runs the uh, Mad Outdoors here in Sale. Um, everything from caravan gear, four wheel drive gear, fishing gear, um, camping gear, got the whole lot. Go in and have a look. Have a peek when you're coming through up this direction. Plenty of bait if you're going through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll have Ricky out fishing with us occasionally when he gets away from the shop. Yeah. So you'll see him a little bit on the show, but in the meantime. Let's go. We're going to go fishing. Catch a few fish, see if we can get something for you. And if we don't, well, you're never going to see this episode anyway. <laughs> so I would hope that we get something for the day. We always catch something. Sure. Right? Yeah. We don't show the ones we catch nothing in. Yeah, exactly right. It happens occasionally, but pretty rare. All right, let's go catch a let's fish. Let's get enough. Um, now, viewers, as we said in the opening, we would, uh, we're coming down the Mitchell today because we've heard the brim are finally on the chew. I mean, we've been trying, viewers, for you to catch a good brim. Oh, it's a bit, <laughs> that's not a brim. <laughs> we've been trying, viewers, to catch a good brim for you, and I still haven't got one. Um, Hang on, i get a net. Yeah, Neil's getting a net. Oh, yeah, Neil's getting a net. Uh, so, uh, Tell them what it is, no? It's a flathead. Now, we're in winter still, you can tell, by our gear. As we said in the opening, we'll go down and see if we can find ourselves a nice brim, because apparently they're on the chew, but so far nothing. But I have picked up, and Neil will show you over the side. That's a lovely flathead. That is a lovely flathead. It'd be 60, right? It'd be 60. Noel's going to land that with a bit of luck. Yes! <laughs> you see how Neil didn't help? No. Never does. Stands there, hands in his pocket, hoping I lose it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that there is a lovely flatty. I mean, I won't be keeping that. No. But it is a good sized flatty, beautiful looking flatty. Um, yeah, dusky flathead. So there you go, Mitchell River. Dusky flathead. Uh, interesting, why? Winter time, we're still in winter. We usually chase these in October. Uh, we're still in August here. Still cold. There you go. That one's going back. So I don't really want it anyway. Well, I do want it, but no, no it's going back. Waiting. We'll keep it. We'll wait till uh, we'll wait till springtime when we catch them. Caught on a grub, which I was using for brim. Just put a new one on. 
that's going back. I'm happy with that. Neil, I've got a fish. <laughs> Let's see how he goes. <laughs> you want to eat him, you know? <laughs> well, there we go, viewers. Lovely fish, 51 centimetres I measured her. Smaller than I thought. Yeah, it is a bit smaller than Neil thought. But anyway, he's, it's a bit early in the morning. He's, his guesses are wrong. <laughs> He'll improve as the day goes on. Give me time. I'll just give that a little bit of a swim, as you can see. Pretty keen to go. Yeah, there so, you go. So, gone. Mm -mm. Well, there you go. I'm happy with that, Neil. It's a fish. <laughs> now, well, let's see if we can get the target species, which is... Rim. Let's go. Well, anything that comes along. Well, anything that comes along. <laughs> Uh, what's going on then? I've hooked the fish now. Oh my god, hello. Hello viewers. Now I'm throwing um, a little prawn imitation, folks. It's called a clone prawn. And this fish has picked it up off the bottom. I think he's very big. Oh. Give him a run around. He pulls hard. I'm not even going to use a landing net. I'll uh, do a knoll and live dangerously. <laughs> Living on the edge. Yeah, live on the live edge. Living on the edge, viewers. There we go, oh, I got lovely, one. That's a lovely brim. Now there you go. Oh yes, it was cold too. Beautiful little brim, probably might make 29, 30, so it's a legal size fish. Okay, check out the little little clone prawn. That's Noel's phone in the background. Oh yeah, sorry viewers, <laughs> hang on. Uh, Let him answer that. No, he's not answering it. You're not gonna answer it, right? Oh, so that little clone prawn, a uh, little five, three gram head on that one. Um, just bouncing on the bottom, right up against the edge. There's a beautiful little black brim for you. Very cute. I'll just measure him, see how big he is. I got 30. 31, he's close Whoa. enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so legal size fish, um, I wouldn't keep him, he's a bit small. So we'll just drop him back in. Hang on now. <laughs> we'll just see if he swims away. <laughs> we will, won't we? <sighs> Yeah, the fish are nice to you. When you do that and let them go, they always splash you in the face. True. But there you go. One to me, one to Noel. We never compete. <laughs> and he's is bigger than mine. Right yeah, on. that's right. Let's finish it now because mine's be able to go home. <laughs> right on. Let's go catch another one. Okay. What you got, Noel? Oh, hey, uh, well, hello there, viewers. Back again. So, you saw Neil with a brim. That was a nice brim, actually. Uh, yeah, I've got one too. I've got one too. Up against the edges here, you'll see. We're in the Mitchell River, as we said. Um, one of our favourite little spots to come and fish is along this edge. And I've got on a grub. You've probably seen them before. Uh, I'm sure we've shown you, but I'm going to show you it. I'll lift it in. I'm on a very light gear here. So it's no excuse for losing it. But I'm on a very light gear here, Neil. <laughs> You've so, given excuses already, mate. <laughs> yeah, 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 hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a nice brim too. That's better. And there we go, and you'll see there, not that big 25, and a grub out of his mouth there. That's not a grub up against the shoreline here, so I've got a, I've got a bit more excitement about me now that <laughs> I think we might be able to get a few fish here now. So this one's just going to, I'm going to let it go, and we'll see if we can find some of the stuff. Mitchell Rivers are renowned for stuff in the 40s. If we get some today, that'll be great. This one, it'll go back. Falls along, see how well. Oh! And that's the, that's called a boat release. <laughs> yeah. really I will good. get rid of it now. <laughs> um, now viewers, sometimes you bug rise around like I was, and I had a, uh, I had a, what's called a sticky prawn, or a prawn thing, because Neil says there's prawns about, or well, he thinks that the fish will say <laughs> prawns. Anyway, I've taken it off the bottom, winded it in, thinking, ah, oh, sick of this, I should change that, but look what I've got. I picked up a skippy here as I was coming in. Right, there he is, look, not right a bad skipjack. Taylor. Mm. Nice eating called. fresh. Yeah, good eating fresh if you like. They, these are very tasty fresh. Nice little one, not very big, you'll see there. Oh, oh, don't chop it up. Oh. <laughs> very sharp teeth, I'm always worried about them. And I got me a little prawn back, you can see a little prawn meditation. I dropped it on the bottom for a uh, flathead. Or a bloody brim, of course. Nothing. Wind it up, bang. Taylor. There he goes. He's going back. Small fella, but very good eating. Normally, oh! <laughs> it's a quick release, I call it. So he's gone. But there you go. So, Mitchell River. As you've seen so far, we have got a brim or two. I've got a flathead. I've got a tailor. You never know what you're going to catch in here. 
we're hoping to get some big brim for you. Anyway, another fish I don't really care. What's going on, Neil? Oh, don't you love when you hook a fish up? It's been about half an hour. Uh, not very big. Just chucking a little slim swim again up against the bank. Went to lift it up and it felt like a stick. But it's a nice stick. Now, <laughs> as you can possibly see, I've hooked him in the side. So he's had a go at that lure. It's gone past his mouth and hooked in there, which fine by me. A bit uncomfortable for him, but we'll just get that out. There we go. So, oh, thanks, mate. So not a big fish. Wouldn't be 20 centimetres. Something nipped his tail off. So he can go back in, but at least it's a fish. So Noel tells me he's, going to, he's just shaking his head. He's going to say, take a picture of this one. So we'll take a very quick picture. <laughs> it's not a gigantic fish. I'll hold him right out. <laughs> yeah, make it look bigger, Neil. Makes him look much bigger. Need a set of those, um, um, what are those little hands you can, you can buy that to hold them out. <laughs> uh, no. We don't do that. No. So there you go. Probably 20 centimetres, not a legal fish. But at least it's a fish. Let's get another one. Um, we're persisting viewers, we've come up along a little weedy bank that Neil quite likes and oh yeah I've got a nice spring here. Um, it's been hard work, you know <clears throat> below us we've, there's been quite a few bait fishermen. They're doing well on the sandworm. Neil has got desperate and pulled out a <laughs> sandworm imitation um, soft plastic so that's how desperate he's become. I've stuck with an old traditional uh, grub that I quite like using and um, oh that's not a bad fish. It's quite a nice, it's good fish. A nice brim there, 28, 29. Just along this bank, you can see behind me. Um, it'll go back, because we're really looking for something about the 40, but we're not getting those at the moment. Just hang on though. I think we're about to come on to a deal. <laughs> what do you think? I, I like your optimism, <laughs> huh? I like that. I'm so positive. I'm trying to stay positive all day. Yeah, let's see what else we can catch. Righto. Now, viewers, we're continuing along along this shore. This is one of Neil's favourite shores. He hasn't got my net, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind because I've got another. Same thing. I've used the grub. I've gone up against the shoreline. Now I must admit, Neil has hooked a few tail down on his slim swim, so they are taking his, but not taking it down. Whereas on the grub, oh yeah, this this is a nicer fish. I'm a lot more happy with this. This is what I'm looking for, uh, and I'm going to bring this in and show you. This is a good one in the 30s. Again, I'll... Yeah, there we go. That's a bit of fish. Check that out. That's a, that's a lovely brim. And I don't want to get spiked by them because they are quite spiky, but look at that. That's getting up there. 30, let's say, 31. Not the big stuff like 40s, which we like to catch, but you can see that grub there taking it down. And that time, I didn't do much. I checked it out. I felt a twitch twitch. That's what you sometimes do. Nothing. Felt like it got picked up, lifted, bang, it was there. That's sometimes all you have to do. It's not very hard catching fish, is it, Neil? No. If they if they pick up <laughs> if they pick up your little just it's take them. For you. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So this one, um, it'll go back too. Uh, and that's a lovely fish. If I can just pop that out without getting spiked. Oh, I'm going to do that now. Turn him upside down. He just pop it all over my boat. See? Yeah. Oh, sorry for that. No, he's, he's milt actually. Yeah. So he's still Spawn. a spawn, a male yeah. spawning fish. That's milt coming out of him. Yeah. You might be able to see it there. So he hasn't yet spawned or had been amongst the spawning group. He's working his way up there, perhaps, because we've seen plenty of fish up higher. Anyway, this one, or at least, Neil, you can film that one going over the side. Why not, Noel? Why not? Because, you know, Maybe he's he hasn't caught him. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't caught him. He wasn't watching through the way, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm just going to put that there. Oh, yeah, gee, mm, look at that. Quick. quick. Gone. Let me get up here. Quick, gone. That's the way we like it. Move along along this bank. Neil will show you as he swings away. Nice little bank. We'll work a lot and see if we can pick up a couple more. What's going on there? Well, that was a funny one, folks. I, I cast, can't catch anything. The lure was directly under the boat. I went to lift it into the water, oh, into the boat, and I got a fish on. <laughs> Not very big. <laughs> fish is a fish. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Actually, it's probably a legal size fish. Yeah. Very dark looking fish. He's been around for a while. Um, very dark looking fish. 
and he was hungry. He's got that slim swim right down there. Got a lot of bashing around his tail, which to me tells me they're spawning. All this, all the marks, they get bashed up pretty heavily when they're spawning, um, as they do. Come out. So I'm using a, a little slim swim. Oh, I'd show you that if I could get hold of the thing. Um, it's a little minnow pattern, just a very small one. One of the uh, the gold ones, I think, or is it a Z-Man? Z-Man, sorry. Z-Man grub. Z-Man Z -Man grub. Uh, three gram head, not too big. I go the five gram head better because it hits the bottom hard. And when you bounce it, it puts up little puffs of sand. And these guys really go for that. For that. Ooh, oh, this. The old boat release now. They're so spiky. Come on. Righto. So he can go back. Uh, Neil did the splash release, it's called. It's called a splash release. So I'm catching up on Noel. I'm still a couple of fish behind. Not that we compete, no, remember? No, 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 no. But no, no, no. if I get a couple more casts in before it turns the camera on, <laughs> yeah, here we go. See, that's what he's like. <laughs> I've now got a pan away like this, and he's already got one in the boat when I come back to him. And that's what's annoying. Uh, oh, hello there again, girls. Um, just going a little bit further up, and look, I'm, I'm on again. Neil's, oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. This here, <laughs> you probably can't see me because Neil's given up. And just, just making it work. It's around the boat. I'm going to walk back towards you here. I'm actually going to kneel down. You can see you better. And this is a lovely brim because this, I mean, I'm not fishing a big rod, but like gear, but this is a nice brim. Oh, it's got to be 50 centimeters now. 50 millimeters now. 50 mil. <laughs> Give me a break. Hey, on your baby. Oh, it's a nice fish. I'll just get over here. And this one took off with it. That's what I like to see when you're brim fishing, that it takes off on you. There you go, probably the same as last time. I was just giving Neil a hard time saying I got one, <laughs> big one. But he took it down. Even a small, fish, smaller fish like that, great big teeth on them, you can see. Uh, took my grub down. Actually, same thing. I dropped it out there. A couple of little jigs just left it, and I felt it pick up off the bottom. So he must have folded it and had it go. Anyway, I'm going to release this one, and um, we'll continue on, Neil. Are you still filming me now? No, I'm trying to fish. Yeah, see, he's trying to get a bloody <laughs> fish while I'm getting this thing off. Yeah, and I can't get it off, I need pliers. Oh, no. oh well. Thank you, Neil. He's swallowed it right down, viewers, so I'll just get that out of there. Maybe. There we go. Grub out, fish unharmed, over the side. Speared him in and gone. Ah, here we go. Again, folks, quick demo on how we do this, or how I do this. Um, I, I run six six pound um, fluoro, not fluoro, um, braid. braid, thanks Noel. Uh, fluorocarbon leader, it's about an eight pound. Uh, you can go a lot heavier, you can go a lot lighter. Lighter, you're going to hook more fish, you're going to lose more fish. They have a tendency, especially if you get a really good fish on like a flathead, they'll chew through the line very quickly or as they're powering away their tail will hit the line uh, and it'll drag it out of their mouth and bust it off but so what we do number one you make sure your plastic is hard up against the back of the jig head okay if you've got a bit of bit of gap there for some reason they just don't want to take it it has to be hard up against it so just push him up each time him up there bit of a cast we're casting two to three meters out from the bank so we're in pretty close. We're in six metres of water out here, but it's about a metre and a half in there. So I watch the line. When the belly of the line drops, I know it's hit the bottom. I give it a couple of little flicks. That's all you need. Just want to lift it up about that far and let it drop back to the bottom. It has to hit the bottom every time. We keep saying that, because if you keep lifting, 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 no, nah. you might catch a tailor. You may have a flathead even follow it up, but the brim won't. They'll only hit it on the bottom. They'll pick it up off the bottom every time. So you get both most of the way back to the boat. Um, if the fish are thick, right up under the boat, they seem to like it as it's lifting rather than coming along. And in this particular cast, they don't like it at all. I'll persevere for a second. Hopefully Noel will catch one on camera at the back. No, he's not going to. No, I just... <laughs> Bugger rising around now. I'll do another one. 
Just one more. Now, in this, in this part of the, uh, the Mitchell River, the tide's moving fairly quickly. There's a bit of fresh water coming down. Uh, we're in an area called the Cliffs, which is just up above me here. Uh, coming into an area they call the Cut, which is a lot of shallow area, a lot of trees and stumps and God knows what washed down from the floods. A lot of fish in there, but getting them out is almost impossible. Great little uh, estuary perch area. And we hope to try and catch one when we get over there. They're not always there, and neither are the brim. But when they are, it's a lot of fun. But I can't catch a fish, typical, next time. What's going on, Dale? Hooked a good one, folks. Hooked a good one. Well, I think it could be estuary perch, isn't it? Uh, I don't know what it is. In the snaggy country now? It is an estuary perch, yes. actually. Nice estuary perch. Would you mind handling me the net, please, sir? <laughs> I'll go on. Hang on, hang on, hang oh, on. Go on. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I'll land this one face before he gets off. There we go. That's a good size, estuary perch up here. That's a nice fish. We'll show you this one, folks. While he's playing around there, I'll just show you here. We're in a bit of snaggy country down here at the... Uh, What's it called, Neil? The straight. Oh, this is called the cut. The cut. You can see all those snags in there. Mitchell River. Um, that's where we are. And there has been estuary perch here before. Small ones. This is the biggest one I've seen come out of here. It's a good fish, actually. It's a lovely fish. He's a bit older fish. He'd be good. 35? Uh, he'd make 36, I said. He says 36, I say 35. <laughs> hey? Yeah, probably. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. You can probably see the little vibe I'm using. It's and a, what sort's that, Neil? Uh, I've got no idea, actually. I know what it is. What is it? It's a hurricane vibe, oh. and it's called Gippy Prawn. It's in a greeny colour. There you go. That's one that, that our sponsor um, gave me to play with. Yes, and it's uh, one that's a locally made one, too. And uh, it worked well, because he's hooked in very hard. I'll, <laughs> if you could just pass me the... I'll, get, I'll go do everything for you. Tell, for you <laughs> It's like, you know, why don't I just come here and be second-hand man or something, Well, right? you could have caught him first, and I would have. Oh, yeah. I was in there looking for him. That's all. So there's lovely a lovely fish. perch. They're a beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. I love these things. They're a... See how big he is? Quick measurement. What did you say he's going? Oh, 35. He's 40. <laughs> oh, God, I'll tell you what. <laughs> See, I haven't been fishing for a while. I've he's lost my neck. 40 and a half. So there's a nice fish. We'll get a quick picture of that one. I won't even need to hold him out too far. No, lovely, lovely fish. So there you go. Nice estuary perch. He can go back in. And we'll just watch him to my way. In a second. Oh yes, he says. And away he goes. Lovely. Okay, let's see if we can get one more of those. Well, viewers, <coughs> we're about to come to the end of our... Oh, actually, morning. We haven't done all day here on the Mitchell. We've done a morning. Um, Beautiful iconic river for brim, and certainly this time of year a little bit harder. But give it another month or so, and I think they really will be on the chew. We've, we've so. got brim today, yes, we have, yeah. and we've got an estuary perch, yes, yes, and, and we've got bladder, yes, we have Taylor. Yeah. It's that's a four species, yes, that's bad. right. It's a river that's pretty mixed, but when yeah. the brim are on, they are really on. I'll keep fishing while he's talking, yeah, well, yeah, like you know, he, me. you can't, you can't kind of <laughs> stop him once he gets going for the day, it's very hard to stop. But we've got enough. Uh, footage for today what we're doing here in the Mitchell and we're going to head to another spot next uh, we don't know where just yet nope. so for this particular episode we're about done I think now pretty much we know um, it's about mm, I don't know it was a one o'clock and we know there's a big storm coming about three according to yeah. the bureau so we're getting out here aren't yeah we? we don't want to be here with uh, that don't want to get wet it's gonna be a big one yeah so yeah for anyway so thanks for watching this week this episode of Catch and Catch Cook, cook yeah I'm Neil Morrison. And Noel Barnaby. And don't forget our sponsor there. You'll see it on his thing. Mad Outdoors Mad in Sale. Mad Outdoors Sale. And uh, anybody else out there, we're willing to put your <laughs> name on it. Don't you worry about that. He's trying hard. I'm trying hard. He's us. trying hard. All right. Thanks for watching. And Thanks. hopefully we'll see you next week on Catch and Cook. Bye, viewers. There you go.